Hey, this is Presh Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. Start with a small square and then draw a large square so that one vertex of the large square passes through the midpoint of the small square side as shown in the diagram. Now shade this triangle in red and shade this rectangle in red. What fraction of the total area is shaded in red? I saw this problem on Twitter and many people had fun with it. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this problem? Since we're only interested in the fraction of the total area that's in red, we can simplify matters by labeling this length as 1. That means this length will also be equal to 1, and the entire small square side will have a length of 2. This will also be equal to 2. We can then use the Pythagorean theorem to solve that the hypotenuse of this 1-2 triangle will be equal to the square root of 5. Notice this will be the length of the larger square side. Now we're going to consider some similar triangles. This blue triangle will be similar to the red triangle. Therefore, the smaller leg has to be half the length of the larger leg. So this will be a length of 0.5. Furthermore, we have another similar triangle, this triangle right here. If we label the longer leg as a, then we have a divided by 2 has to be the same ratio as in this triangle here, which is equal to 2 divided by the square root of 5. We simplify this, and we get that a is equal to 4 divided by the square root of 5. As a result, we can solve that this length here will be the square root of 5 minus 4 over the square root of 5, which simplifies to be 1 over the square root of 5. We have all the necessary lengths to solve this problem. The red area will be the sum of two shapes. It'll be the area of this, which is 1 half of 1 times 0.5. Then we have the area of this rectangle, which will be the square root of 5 multiplied by 1 over the square root of 5. This all simplifies to be 1.25. We now want to calculate the total area. So we'll do that by calculating the area of the large square. This will be the square root of 5 squared. We then want the area of this triangle, which will be 1 times 0.5 all over 2. And then we have the area of this triangle, which is 1 times 2 all over 2. This all simplifies to be 6.25. We now take the area of the red shapes divided by the total area, and we get 1.25 divided by 6.25, and that simplifies to be 1 over 5. I'm sure there are many other ways to solve this problem. Let people know in the comments which way you solved it. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.